Are you a new copywriter that's just getting into the business or maybe you want to learn copywriting and you're not so sure how to get started? Today, I'm gonna share with you five copywriting tips for beginners. So if you are a beginner, you're just getting started, this video is for you. Tip number one, and that is, desire is much more important than your degree. Don't be intimidated by the idea of learning how to write copy. I remember when I first learned about copywriting, I thought to myself, I was a bit unsure and I didn't have a lot of certainty. Could I do this? Because I didn't do so well in school. I flunked English twice when I was in high school and I don't have a, a journalism degree. Could I actually do this? And what I realized is that when it comes to copywriting, a lot of the things that we learn in school, uh, in maybe even in journalism, those skills don't apply. Those proper academic writing, they, it's very, very different from copywriting, right? Academic writing is designed to educate, right? That's why they're kind of dry, could be very boring, kind of textbook-like. Copywriting, it's a form of writing that is designed to sell, to convert a, a prospect into a customer. So it's a very much a street smart kind of skill, not so much school smart, right? You think about school smart, it's, you know, accounting and engineering and all these skill sets versus copywriting is much more street smart. Over all these years, I've had maybe, maybe one or two clients and prospects asking me, hey, do you have any degree in writing? Do you have a degree in journalism? They do not care. What they care is, can your writing produce results? Copywriting tip number two, and that is master short form copy before you learn long form copy. Now, what do I mean by that? So when it comes to copywriting, there's so many different types of copywriting. Long form, I'm referring to, it could be a long landing page, right? It could be like five, 10 pages, or crafting a webinar, crafting a direct mail piece if you're doing any kind of direct mail. That's, that's okay, but it takes years to learn and hone your craft. I always suggest to my copywriting students when they're just learning, when they're just getting started, learn a short form copy. I'm talking about it could be an email, right? It could be an autoresponder sequence uh, in an email. It could be a social media post. It could be an Instagram post. It could be a short form Facebook ad, even Google ads with just a headline and a few lines, right? You're learning how people respond. You're basically crafting short paragraph or headlines. Once you get feedback and you get data and you kind of develop this sense of, hey, this would work or that wouldn't work, then you're honing your skill and also it builds your confidence, right? Because sometimes when you write a long page, you know, it's like 10, 20 pages, it is so intimidating, right? It might take you three weeks to craft something versus if you craft something short, a short email, it might just take you 30 minutes, if you're good, or an hour. And you can test it, you can send it to your clients. So I think it's much easier way to get in the game. Cooperating tip number three, and that is spend 80% of your time doing research and only 20% of your time writing. Now, one of the mistakes I see a lot of beginner copywriters make is they get all excited. They can't wait to go to their laptop or you grab a pen and you grab your legal pad and they start writing. That's not what you wanna do. You wanna spend a majority of your time researching about your prospect, getting to know what, what are their frustrations, what are their pain points, what are their goals, where, where do they wanna to get to. Once you know a lot about your prospects, you're much easier, you have much easier time crafting a message that speaks directly to them, something that they would resonate with, versus you rush into it, you just want to write. If you do your job right, if you do your research right, when you actually write that copy, it is so much easier and so much faster. So spend a lot of time thinking about it, just researching about it, right? Just think it through. Think, think about the hooks, think about the pain points, think about the messages before you write a single word. Copywriting tip number four, and that is write the way you talk. See, that's why having that degree and, and getting that formal education is actually not that important because when it comes to copy, it is about 
communicating, you connecting and communicating with your customer or your prospect or your reader. So you want to write in very simple language. So I'll give you an example. Sometimes you might use what I call one sentence paragraph, which in English is not very proper. Sometimes I, when I write, I even use one word paragraph. So imagine if I'm actually talking and writing one word paragraph, period. And then I'll start the next paragraph. Again, this is very unconventional, but when it comes to copy, it works. Why it works? Because it's easy to read. So you want to write the way you talk. You want your prospect, when they are reading your message, they can almost hear you talking to them. They can hear your voice, right? Versus when you read something, you're like, oh man, this is like, I can't even, you're losing me. I, I'm confused. So this is so difficult to understand, right? Because sometimes as an academic writer, you know how it is, they try to write something to, to make themselves sound smart, but it's not very easily understandable by the audience. So you don't want to do it right the way that you talk. Also, when you're writing, think of you are writing to one person versus writing to a group of people. Okay, so instead of using a lot of, you know, we or using a lot of ours, use a lot of you, right? It's a one-on-one -on -one communication. A lot of you, a lot of I. It's me sitting across the table. I'm just communicating. I'm talking to you versus our company is blah, blah, blah. That's not very personal, right? The more personal it is, the more powerful, the more compelling your copy is. I'll read you a a short paragraph here and you just pay attention to it. Okay, this is very academic writing, right? Professional communication helps meet the challenges of today's digital world where communication is more important than ever. You see, it's very wordy. It's very like, huh, what? So here's the way I would express exactly the same thing, okay, in three words, copy, equals money. Copy equals money. Do you see the difference? Cooperating tip number five, and that is building your own swipe files. Now, what do I mean by that? Think of your, your swipe files, they are your cooperating vault, okay? So as a beginner, because you don't have a lot of experience, what you wanna do, you wanna study other people's work. You want to look at other people's emails, other people's landing pages, other people's letters and marketing messages and, and catalogs and everything that they do, full page ads. Because when you study other people's work, you stop picking up patterns. So when you need to write something, the last thing you want to do is you turn on your computer and you're staring at a blank screen and trying to come up stuff. That's very, very difficult to do. That's not what professionals do. Professional copywriters, they have this archive of swipe file. They would refer to, hey, you know what? I need to write a campaign for a, a supplement product, okay? Instead of trying to, well, let me think. It's going to be, I think I'll sell it this way. This would be the offer. No, they would go back and say, Hulk, okay, in the last five years, 10 years, what are some of the ads? What are some of the proven offers selling this similar product, right? Maybe in a supplement niche that I could look at. Oh, here, here's, a, here's a hook that works. Here's an angle that works. Here's a headline that works. What they do is they look at all of that and say, okay, I think I could come up with something that's similar, right? Or maybe I can change the angle a little bit, depends on what you're selling. And then boom, there you go. So it's not about creativity for the sake of creativity. Oh, I want to come up with something that no one's ever, ever came up with. That is stupid, okay? You don't want to do that. Because when you go to the bank, when you deposit your copywriting check, right? Someone hires you to write, write the copy. No one is gonna ask you, hey, is this, is, this, is this your original idea here? Right, the teller is not gonna ask you that. The teller just wants to know how much you deposit. They, they don't care, they do not care. So it's not about creativity. And is they also don't care how long it, it took you to write this, this piece of copy. They did not give you less money if you say, oh, it took me like a long month, man. You have no idea. I, I was sitting in front of my computer and I, spending hours on it, or you know what? I spent one day on it, that's it. They don't give you more money for spending less, for spending more time. They don't give you less money if you spend less time. 
it doesn't matter. So be smart building up your swipe file. I have a massive, massive swipe file in my library. I mean, like thousands and thousands. Let's just give you an idea. You know those three ring binders, like those three ring binders with like this thick? I've got probably 60, 70 of those in my library that I've collected over the years. I could easily think of if I need a campaign, hey, here's a campaign from X, amount of, uh, X, X number of years ago that has produced $5 million, $10 million. Right there, I would know what are some of the proven campaigns and, and winning pieces that I could get ideas and inspiration from. So build your own swipe file. You see, one of the things that people don't understand is there are many aspects to copywriting and copywriters are among some of the highest paid professionals in the world. I call them high income copywriters. If you want to learn how to become a high income copywriter or you want to know the different aspects of, of copywriting and which one you should pursue your path and, and what types of copy you should focus on, click the link below and check out my free on-demand training on exactly how to do that. So go ahead, click the link.